With this year's Eurogamer Expo having sadly drawn to a close, we here at Push Square thought it would be a great idea to knock the skulls of our staff together in order to uncover our top five favourite PlayStation games that we got our grubby mitts on. In at number five, we've got Tearaway. The newest IP from Sony's Looney Bin Studio Media Molecule sees you command the role of a little paper messenger man or woe man, charged with delivering something. All right, we'll come clean. We're not entirely sure what business we have in this beautiful land of complicated folding and paper cuts, but the innovative touchscreen gameplay and bizarre characters and dialogue won over our hearts nonetheless. Normally, when you tell a creative type that their efforts look like something a child made, you can expect an understandably hostile retort. But in the case of this charming Vita exclusive, it seems to be exactly what they were going for, and we can't wait for November. See. Here, I wanted to create a connection between you and Jodie. You see her from a child to adult, and you feel emotions throughout her story. It's very emotional. Emotion. Yes, that's right, Beyond Two Souls was at the show, and, rather predictably, the mad Frenchman David Cage seems to be close to executing another masterpiece. Whether or not it's as divisive as Heavy Rain remains to be seen, and while he's gone to great lengths to assure us that there are no QTEs in Beyond, his alternative control scheme does look pretty damn similar. Right stick manoeuvring aside, the game looks gorgeous and narratively harks back to their previous title, Fahrenheit, or Indigo Prophecy in North America, with the inclusion of otherworldly, spirity weirdness. Rather than question the narrative integrity of a game that features a little ghosty thing, we'd much rather let Quantic Dream's blockbuster wash over us like a wave of… emotion. Velocity 2X pitches itself as a sci-fi platformer as well as a shoot-'em-up, and our hands-on time didn't disappoint. The demo we played was designed to introduce the side-scrolling mechanic they're adding. So it's the same teleporty vertical shooting action, but now you can sprint through side-scrolling sections too. Perhaps the most impressive thing is that they've mapped all of the mechanics from the spaceship section into the side-scrolling parts, so you can still teleport, dash, and shoot your way through levels. The music also deserves a mention, with Killzone composer Joris Deman working on it, and the graphics have been totally overhauled, with lots of pretty lighting effects making an already slick-looking game even slicker. Looking... Yeah... Hashtag graphics. Octodad made us grin from ear to ear, although, having said that, any game about a cephalopod having to infiltrate human society unnoticed probably would. From his puzzled but endearing expression to the wonky way you control his limbs to walk around and interact with things, Dadliest Catch oozes with hilarious charm. You'll laugh, you'll cry, but perhaps most importantly you'll want him to succeed. Badly. But it isn't easy for the poor guy. Having eight limbs and suckers doesn't lend itself to joining a bipedal society, and often results in hilarious mishaps. Hurry, Octodad. It's your wedding day and you're running a bit late. Better get dressed. You've just knocked down an entire wall by trying to open a cabinet. I didn't even know, I didn't even know that was possible. No, what are you doing to the cake? Get down there, that's for the guests. You can't put your, you can't put your little technical things on there. Come on. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. They look so happy together. Blasting its way into the number one slot is the gorgeous looking Rezo Gun. Fresh off the production line of twin stick shooter veterans Housemark, the title is easily one of the most stunning games set to be released on the PlayStation 4. And while the spherical planet stages of Super Stardust may have made way for more cylindrical spaces, it only takes five minutes with the title to realise that it's something worthy of the studio's pedigree. Zipping between insurmountable waves of enemies, you'll have to focus on a near ninja level to be successful. Picking up power-ups, deploying bombs, and utilising insane mega cannons are the only way to truly master Rezogun, and successfully beating a level will reward you with the game world collapsing into kajillions of tiny molecule blob things. Ah, blob things. We thought Rezogun was the best thing at the 2013 Eurogamer Expo, but what about you? Were you there, and do you agree with our list? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.